Hi, it's me Jasmine once again. In today's video, I'm going to share with you about the place called Emmaus Nicopolis. Emmaus is about 10 miles 14 kilometer west of the outskirts of Jerusalem on Highway 1. Emmaus is also known as Emmaus Nicopolis and is in Ayalon, Canada Park in Latrun. It's believed to be the site of the village of Emmaus which is referred to in Luke 24 where Jesus met two of his followers on the road to Emmaus after his resurrection. The ruins of the old city are scattered over a vast area inside the park and on its west side. Historical Background Emmaus was a large city that existed from the Hellenistic period through the Byzantine period. It's strategically located on the main road that links Joppa or Yafo and the coastal cities to Jerusalem. It has served as an administrative, military, and economic center. Eusebius 260-340 AD mentioned Nicopolis as Biblical Emmaus in his writings. Jerome 347-420 AD spoke of a church in Nicopolis built in the house of Cleopas where Jesus broke bread with his disciples. From the 4th century on the site has been widely identified as the Biblical Emmaus. A Byzantine church was built here in the 5th century. Another Byzantine church was built beside the 5th century church in around the 7th century. Later, the Crusaders built a basilica over the 7th century Byzantine church in the 12th century. Places of interest include 5th century church, the 7th century church, the 12th cent century church, Byzantine inscription, Byzantine baptistry chapel, 5th century bishop's house, ancient tombs, Roman bathhouse located several hundred yards north of the church. Emmaus was known as a place of delicious waters, a pleasant oasis. The name Emmaus itself comes from the Hebrew word hamot or hamot, meaning hot sources or springs. In the 3rd century AD, the town was given a new name, Nicopolis, or the city of victory in Greek. In the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 24, the Gospel tells about the meeting between Jesus after his resurrection and his two companions on the road to Emmaus. Archaeological excavations at the site reveal the Byzantine church in the shape of a basilica 46.4 long with a width of 24. Meters, luxurious mosaic floors, a baptism for bathing, a baptismal basin in the shape of a cross, a mosaic with a Greek inscription in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a tabula ansata with Greek inscriptions, the remains of a crusader church built on the remains of a Byzantine church, the remains of a water plant that includes tunnel and canals, aqueducts that lead the water from Alakad Spring and from Athena Well, both located in the area of the Monastery of the Silence with a large bathhouse that was completely exposed and featured vaulted ceilings, a steam room. The site contains an ancient cemetery of the city of Emmaus where remains of rock Yun tombs were exposed, as well as the two burial caves of Jews who were residents of the city of Emmaus. In one of the caves, eight rock cat tombs, ruins from the Talmudic period, and the two limestone ossuaries with Jewish symbols engraved on them were discovered. Emmaus is a place of pilgrimage. During the Byzantine period, Emmaus Nicopolis became an important episcopal see. In the 5th and 7th centuries, two basilicas, 
were built here on the site of Christ's meeting with his disciples. The sanctuary was destroyed by the Persian invasion and again by the Arab invasion during the 7th century AD and rebuilt by the Crusaders in the 12th century. Unfortunately, the restored basilica did not survive the Crusader kingdom. The Christian presence on the site faded away. It was only in 1878 at the initiative of Saint Miriam of Bethlehem that the Carmelite convent of Bethlehem acquired the site. Since then, it has once more became a place of pilgrimage. Excavations in 1880-1924 and recent years unearthed the remains of the two imposing Byzantine basilicas with beautiful mosaic and a baptistry and the ruins of the Crusader Chapel. A small museum with the mosaics discovered at Emmaus is found upon the hill in the house built by the fathers of the Sacred Heart of Jesus from Beran, France in 1930s. In the same building, the chapel of the community of the Beatitudes residing on the spot since 1993. Since 1993, the church has entrusted the care and upkeep of the site to the community of the Beatitudes. This is a Catholic charismatic community founded in France in 1973. It is a mixed community including lay people, priests, families, nuns, and monks. The name of the community comes from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are the poor in spirit. The community has been present in Israel since 1975. We come here to work for mutual understanding and reconciliation between Jews and Christians. We welcome anyone who would like to visit and pray at the site. It is also possible to participate in the prayer services of the community. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.